Welcome to Sleepy Eyes. I am your host, Varga. I take you on a journey in the dark of the night with warm tales. Take a moment to relax your body and mind with the current calmness. Breathe deeply, feel the energy inside, and let go of any tiredness. Put aside the past and focus on the peacefulness of the present moment. Recognize any tension in your body. Allow it to fade away and unwind. Discover your inner peace and simply unwind in the tranquility of now. Before going to sleep, prepare to read a story comfortably in this peaceful setting. Let the magic of words captivate you as you get lost in a tale or story. With the warmth from this peace and relaxation, your sleep will become even more serene. Close your eyes, embark on a journey with a touch of words. Let each word guide you a bit deeper toward the essence of your inner peace. Now, relax and enjoy the pleasure of getting lost in the enchanting world of the story before drifting into sleep. Of Dust and Domes Chapter 3 Mechanical Mayhem Jake shielded his face as the rover was buffeted by swirling dust and sand. Through the sand-blasted windows, the landscape had disappeared in an orange haze. The vehicle's navigation system glitched and flickered. He would have to find his way manually. Gripping the wheel tight, Jake peered into the murk, steering around shadowy dunes by memory and instinct alone. A warning beep pierced the din. The external sensors were failing blinded by dust. Now even the computer was blind, leaving Jake solely responsible for avoiding unseen hazards in this soup of Mars. Sand gritted in the joints as Jake fought to turn the rover, its mass like an anchored barge on this shifting sea. Locked in an eerie, unseeing world, only by his experience of these lands could he hope to find a safe harbor to weather the storm. Through the shroud, there was nothing to see, nothing to hear but the whistle of wind. He could only trust and keep driving into the unknown. Jake breathed a sigh of relief as the dust storm finally passed, but his respite was brief. Blinking lights on the dash indicated new issues within. Pulling himself under the rover, he investigated by the weak beam of his headlamp. Circuits had been rattled loose connections shaken apart. Working in the confined space, lit only by the tiny lamp clutched between his teeth, Jake reattached wires and fastened panels with practiced precision. Each component had to be inspected, each connection re-secured. It was minuscule, painstaking work, but one mistake could have lethal consequences if systems failed. As he delved deeper, Dirt and debris impeded his efforts at every turn. Grit ground in joints and peppered his pilfered parts box. Slowly, connection by connection, he brought the rover back to functioning through deft hands and stubborn perseverance. Emerging at last into the open, Jake surveyed his work. Systems remained unstable, but they would suffice unless more storms arose to further derange the delicate apparatus. For now, it would carry him on. The sinking sun cast long shadows across the rust-hued sands as Jake drove on. But encroaching darkness heralded a new concern. The battery was draining after powering repairs. Without charge, he would be stranded in these trackless wastes in the freezing night. As the final glimmer faded, Jake parked up and checked levels by lamplight. Success was slipping from his grasp, yet in the flickering glow an idea sparked. What if he bypassed the batteries directly? It was a risky maneuver, but could provide the surge needed to complete his mission. Under the chassis, he went again, wiring in lights from the reserve tanks. Now came the moment of truth. With a prayer to whatever gods watched over lonely travelers on Mars, Jake engaged the uprated system. For a single crystalline moment, all was still, even his pounding heart.
Then, with a stuttering grind, the motor turned over. Light and life flooded the cabin once more. Jake sat, breathing hard, the desert night now his, to brave a while longer. One crisis met, but peril and uncertainty remained constant companions on the road to salvation. Jake awoke, stiff and sore, his makeshift repairs still holding. Dressing hauled him through checks as dawn light filtered in. All systems showed green, until the radio stirred from static. Pete, this, colony, storm, assist. The tinny voice was garbled but urgent. Jake fumbled with dials, trying to clarify the distress call. A gasp of air loss drew his eye to a suit to read out. The integrity was failing. Working fast against the clock, Jake donned the pressure suit. Outside, he found the join had cracked, the polymer bond weakening in the harsh environment. With resin and tape from the kit, he effected emergency repairs, but the call continued buzzing as he worked. Serious damage, evacuating, need. The message broke apart, lost in the solar interference. Jake cursed silently. Was it his own colony calling? He had to get back, had to answer the plea for aid. Finishing up, he hustled inside, scrambling to boost the radio power and piercing the veils between him and home. The fate of the caller and his mission now hung by a thinning filament. Jake set off again, but within hours systems were haywire. Scanners refused focus, flickering between squalls. The rover veered off course into trackless terrain. As bitter winds buffeted the cabin, Jake wrestled with the wheel. Through sand-blasted windows, a bleak landscape greeted him. Boulder-strewn badlands, no cover in sight. Magnetic anomalies here had long fried any navigation, leaving him lost in a maze of rust-red cliffs and jagged stones. Jake stopped to scan horizons now become his jailers, nothing but barren bones as dusk fell, any habitation a mirage. Food and water were down to meager rations. He'd have to risk the maze by moonlight, hoping scanners might adjust as the skies cleared, allowing an unseen beacon out. As night closed in, it seemed his errors had sealed his fate, marooning him among remnants of a world even hardier life had abandoned. But still he gripped the wheel, vowing to drive till the last, facing whatever perils might emerge from the empty wastes under the watch of alien stars. Jake woke to pre-dawn stillness, breath frosting in the chill. Scanners remained opaque but outside. One obstacle emerged clearly, a boulder wall cutting off all passage. He was boxed in the canyon with dwindling resources. As the sun rose, Jake examined options. The antenna was malfunctioning. Without direction, he was lost. Improvising with carbon filament tape and crimped wires, he assembled a makeshift receiver. Hopefully it could capture some guidance through the magnetic interference. Static hissed, then a familiar scrambling emerged. It was working. But as Jake celebrated, the rover twitched sharply. He lunged for the controls as more spasms shook the vehicle. Through the windshield, plumes rose from the battered engine. Jake cursed inwardly. Now they were truly stranded, this mechanical fit the final insult. With daylight fleeing, he'd have to attempt risky repairs immediately, or die here in the unyielding prison of cliffs. As smoke thickened, it seemed the harsh planet had one last challenge for its daring explorer. Jake slammed his fist against the dashboard, venting helplessness to the empty cabin, but rage would not solve their predicament. Taking a steadying breath, he popped the hood to investigate. Under fading sunlight, he found the fuel pump straining, grinding bare wires to nubs. Jake fashioned new leads from copper scraps and bound them tight. As dusk fell, he put the engine through cautious tests. It had life enough for limited range. Darkness swarmed the canyons as Jake extinguished unnecessary power. By starshine, he guided their weakened vessel cautiously, 
Any sudden motion risked snapping strained components for good. Navigation was by memory of the heavens above familiar, yet alien planes. Uncertainty permeated the gloom within as without, but Jake steeled his resolve, grasping fragile hope that the heavens may mirror Earth's and point true north. So in the chill loneliness of Martian night, he steered by stellar sailor's tricks toward a future still mist-shrouded, but depending on his strength of will against all hardship. The rover rolled on through spectral badlands under watchful alien eyes.